Well, hello friends. Here is the same ECG. I mean, here is the ECG of the same patient which we used uh, for right bundle branch block. And here also there is one more anomaly. Uh, we'll discuss here. First of all, we can see there is a small IS wave white QRS uh, as we already mentioned while in the video of uh, right bundle branch block it is more than 120 ms and uh, there is a left axis deviation well, I am not going to calculate here the axis but I can show you how to see whether the whether it is left axis or right axis without calculating you can always see uh, the largest positive wave in lead 1, 2 and 3. If the largest positive wave is in lead 2, it is a normal axis. If it is in lead 1, it is a uh, left axis and if it is in the lead 3, it, would be, it should be a right axis. The, this uh, uh, method gives you a probable idea of uh, axis deviation it is not absolute but it works very fine so here we can see it is a left axis deviation and uh, also small s wave and the uh, large uh, s wave i mean uh, s wave is larger in lead 2 and lead 3 it is larger than r wave so this ecg also shows us uh, that the patient has might also have a left anterior fascicular block thank you kindly rate comment and subscribe to the channel thank you